Hello people, in this video let us look at this textbook of pathology for MBBS by Mandel <coughs> and uh, A.K. Mandel and uh, Sharmana Chaudhary. Okay, so let's look at this book quickly, both volumes, one and two. Book has this glossy, um, uh, glossy pages, which so you can see how the right light reflects here. So even in the library or in the house, when you're reading, you have to do like this. Let's focus on the content. So you can see how this book is. Let us see if it has any useful, very, very different stuff from the other books. So at the end of every chapter they give you a list of important questions however they didn't give you the answers or quick uh, points or they didn't give you a summary of the chapter which I would have preferred okay so preview of the whole chapter they have given and very important is it must know good to know okay you should should know what hemophilia B hemophilia A okay so let's look at some images and try to understand what is the structure of lymph node. Oh, look at that. There's something here from which the efferent lymphatics goes. Where does it enter from? Afferent lymphatics, efferent lymphatics. And here you have all these things which are called as what? Germinal centers and lymphoid follicles. And the entire thing is called as cortex. And this is the capsule. Lymph node. Hmm. Nice. See, what you mainly need in pathology is gross and microscopy. Okay, that you should, should, should have. Let's look at some gross and microscopy images. Where is gross and microscopy? This is a gross looks like. Metastatic carcinoma of lung. What will you see? See, this diagram is very incomplete. You're supposed to say what you see. If I draw like this and say lung parenchyma tumor, this won't help. In lung carcinoma, what are the gross features that you should highlight in the diagram right see cannonball appearance in the lung this is something if they had put in the diagram no i didn't have to come and search here at all that is something which is not good okay why does a virus lead to carcinoma because it degrades backs okay and then some e6 e7 are overexpressed this binds to some protein some some blocks the cell cycle suppression p53 rb this rb is the retinoblastoma gene right what do you say people increase cell, cell survival now let's go to this uh, volume 2 people and let's explore 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 what are the contents of systemic pathology? You have the cardiovascular system, head and neck, respiratory system, GIT, hepatobiliary system, pancreas, kidney. See, this pancreas is un not under hepatobiliary. So it's only the liver and gallbladder they are putting under that. Okay. Lower urinary tract. So kidney is the upper urinary tract, right? Then male reproductive system, female reproduction, breast, thyroid, bones, nerves, CNS, skin, soft tissue, eye and ear. Okay. And autopsy also. Autopsy also they are covering. Okay. Pathological autopsy. Have you heard of? So basically here they are talking about gross specimen of something. Let us look at this. Iota showing the atheroma, atheromatous plaque. Fatty plaques are there. Okay. Atheromatous plaque neovascularization. So you can see here this is a plaque in the blood vessel. Right. This is what will lead to your ischemia and then it will lead to coronary heart disease finally leading to mi etc at this point i am expecting more diagrams pathological images i'm expecting more however i don't see much of pathological images and like you see here they're talking about the list of important questions however the summary of the chapter itself is not there right Some images here about the alveoli, etc. Pap 
pathogenesis of anything will be very nice. Let us look at those complications of gallstones. You are trying to explain what and all it can lead to. Right? The complications of gallstones. So, here is your gallbladder. So, there is a gallstone. So, it can lead to carcinoma. It can lead to perforation. It can lead to backwardsly. It is causing obstructive jaundice, ascending cholangitis, cholangitic abscess. Okay, then here it is causing bile accumulation which is going to cause hydrops pseudomyxoma peritoni empyema if it gets infected it becoming high, high what is that called as mucosyl right hydrops mucosyl empyema so mucosyl empyema focus people so gallstone ileus etc so at least the pathogenesis also is explained so by which you can complications of gallstone why it happens also they have explained which is kind of nice Right, what is this diagram? Mucosyl. Mucosyl, empyema, gallbladder. Somehow I feel this labeling is wrong. Okay, this is a mucosyl and this is an empyema. So, mucosyl A, empyema B, and both are gallbladder. Is that the way they are trying to say? Okay. So, hopefully you have learned something at least by looking at the review of this book. Let's look at this one last thing. Genesis of ascending infection organism that is the, in the GIT there is some E. coli, Proteus, Klebsiella, Enterobacter, Streptococcus, Fecalis, uh, Staphylococcus it will go to the vagina, the urethra, bacteria will adhere it to the urethral mucus, colonization then it will go to bladder, bladder obstruction, Bacterial growth of in the bladder, then vesico ureteric reflux, ureter, renal pelvis, collecting to the interstitial tissue of the kidney. So, we are talking about what? Genesis of ascending infection of what? Which organ? Come on, tell that in the heading properly. Okay, this is the diagram you will have to draw in the exam. This is how, this also you can draw in the exam, right? Clear cell variant of this is the renal cell carcinoma. In this, there will be hematuria, people. So, in the symptoms, if they tell you hematuria is there, then you should think about one of the things you have to think of is renal cell carcinoma also, okay? There can be many causes of hematuria, but it can be renal cell carcinoma also, okay? So, I think this book we have focused on. So, now let us close this video. So, here in this video, we have looked at this uh, textbook of pathology for MBBS by A.K. Mandal, okay? Volume 1, Volume 2, General Pathology, Systemic Pathology, it will be easy for you to carry, right? Bye-bye.